bar, but she was dope. We danced. She was a good time, bro. She looked good for her age. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought she was in her 80s. I was like, you know, white people that age crazy. I was like, yo, how old's your grandma? He was like 47. I was like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 36, your kid gotta be a senator or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, my parents had me at 18. Look what I'm doing. Came to America with a dream. Again, I can't afford a fucking hoodie in this place. Don't tell in La Jolla, Aviator Nation. Show is fire. Crowd is fire. Had a lot of fun hosting. Got some sweats. Feel me? We had a $200 limit. These sweats cost $170. Shout out to Aviator Nation, dog. Sweats look comfy. I was looking for a little different type of color, you feel me? Something casual. Crowd was dope. Lineup was amazing. I got Ray Lau on the show. Ray's hilarious. My new homie, Tatiana Gucci from New York, Long Island, now in LA, a killer. She had the crowd going. Fun show, man. Belmont Park, San Diego. Bits Comedy Wednesday, and we are at Belmont Park. I'm not a big roller coaster guy, but I'm a comedy guy, so we're gonna do this comedy. 
It's my second time performing at Belmont Park. In the past, we were on the beach, um, right on Mission Beach. Today, we're gonna be in the actual park. So that should be pretty dope. So let's check it out. All right, we're here, Belmont Park, I'm with my guy George. Yes, sir. George is the homie. George is like a comedy intern for Kimball's. That's true. I met George shows and shows ago at the place I don't know how to pronounce. La Berge. La Berge, there we go, that place. I met George there, good dude. He's doing his first set tonight. Yep. Five minutes to help him get into college. Yeah. So he's doing that. He also watches the vlogs every week. George is my guy. I did not know who the fuck George was. I know, jo <laughs> I see George commenting. I see George on the Instagram. Now I gotta hit him with the follow back. So I gotta pay attention to my guy, George. Future superstar. He's in screenwriting, yep. comedy, yep. everything. Yeah. So are you, are you nervous tonight? Not yet, thankfully. Okay. I, probably pretty soon. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna go over it again. You're gonna I've kill it. 30 times today. How old are you, George? I'm 18. 18, baby. No boost for my boy. We got Mikey Perry out here with the. Oh, Mikey got the waters. <laughs> my dog. Fancy water. Fancy Ooh, water. Water. Look at that, baby. Little ocean Belmont water. Park. Ocean water, baby. All right. We're gonna get in there and do this show. George is gonna do his first set ever. It's gonna be a fun time, all right? Look at that. Vlog life, baby. <laughs> Show was a lot of fun. Shout out to everybody who came out. Alex, the headliner, killed. Shout out to my boy George, did his first set ever. It was hilarious. Mikey, always funny. Kimball's amazing show and amazing set. We had a lot of fun. Thursday, La Jolla Comedy Store. Best of San Diego. Excited to be back at the crib. I'm gonna work out a little bit. A little eight minute, 10 minute set, something light. Get back in the groove. I'm excited. Y'all already know, I love coming to the store. It's the second home for me. We're gonna get to work. Should be cool. Hopefully we got a good crowd. Last time I was here, I went up real late and uh, the crowd was a little weird, but they hung tough. Uh, tonight, we'll see how it goes, but excited to be back. My first best of since I went to Texas. So I'm excited to be back in San Diego doing shows. That's it, let's cross the street.
Why do you have? I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I was late. You were late to work? Yeah, my alarm didn't go off. Don't put this in the wall. Char was late to work. I, I, I literally rolled out of that. My, You're literally gonna get fired. I'm literally. No, I'm gonna buy one of those old school alarm clocks. You rocking a? Are you rocking a chain right now? Yeah. Oh. It was like fifteen dollars. Let's call you Lil Char. <laughs> right now, right now it looks like I spilled my water bottle. But you come back. Get away. Come back. I'm growing oh, waves. Yeah. You get the waves out. What's going on with this popcorn over here? Oh man, look at it. Really active? It looks good. Look at that. That's good over here. I love this. We love good. to see it, buddy. You're looking, you're looking good, buddy. Hey, you know, you go to a black barber, you change your whole life. I'll change your whole life, bro. I know how it is. I know how it is. I landed in San Diego, found out y'all motherfuckers surf <laughs> burritos with french fries inside of them. Yeah, no, this is delicious. I'm telling you right now, though, I'm not scared no more. I'm full. You feel me? <laughs> There was this app on my phone, y'all might remember, it's called Pokemon Go. Yeah, remember 2016 Pokemon Go? Look at Some people still play, Asians, y'all still play Pokemon Go. Like, I watch you, y'all are nice, but like, in 2016, we all would've got hit by a bus for some Pokemon Go. We were so amazed, bro. We were so dumb, dude, just walking around, like, looking at your phone, looking at the earth, looking at your phone, looking at the earth, all impressed, like, oh my God, there's grass here. Grass here. <laughs> like, wow. Sunday night, we are at 619 Spirits in North Park, headlining Cash Comedy. As y'all know, I love me a Cash show. Cash is my dude, always looks out for me. Honestly, I gotta say, most of my growth this year in comedy, a lot of it is attributed to Cash and his shows because I've been able to do long sets and really work out material and work on my bits. So I love doing shows for Cash. We got a couple more to round out the year. So we always have a good time at 619. The staff is great to me, so. Let's get over to North Park and let's do this thing. Okay, silence. Are you, uh, Gabriel, are you ready? Why are you guys laughing? Gabriel, are you ready for our headliner? I'm ready. Are you ready? Make some noise, Gabriel, for our headliner tonight. He's a good friend of mine. He's absolutely fucking hilarious. Please give it up for Rui Montilla. Here we go for Gabriel, guys. Come on. <laughs> Gabriel, what'd you do, bro? <laughs> what happened? You just came here in your Fashion Nova shirt and just fucking... <laughs> you didn't do anything to deserve any of that. You seem like a sweet guy. You got kind eyes. You're like a nice guy. You got like a Unabomber hat on, but like, other than that, dude, you're doing... You're sweet, uh, 619, what's up? Make some noise for 619 one time. <laughs> My Dominican brother, what's your name? Uh, Tony. Tony, okay, you're Tony. I got you, you're <laughs> Melissa was trying to fuck back. All right. Hell yeah. No wonder, she's from New York. Like, Dominican dick is like, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Dominican dick got high value in New York, bro. You know what I mean? like, Dominican dick is good, because you still wear Timberlands. You'll fuck like a black guy, you know? But every now and again, you'll call her mommy or some shit. She's like, I'm like, <laughs> you throw some fucking Spanish in there, bro, change her whole life up, bro. You know any Mexican chicks you probably tricked out here? They're like, oh, I'm switching it up, dude. I got this guy named Tony, black guy, bro. I'm so excited. Then you pop up with some Spanish. She's like, what the fuck, dude? Mexican girl's all into the brujeria. Now she got to go talk to her lady who got the tarot cards to figure out what's up with her life. 
Mexican women are different out here, bro. I was talking to this Mexican chick. She was like, I just did a limpia, which mean, to me means cleaning. So I go, oh, you cleaned your house. That's what's up. You're not a dirty bitch. You know, that's good. And then she's like, no, I dropped the egg into it. I was like, hold on, what? She was, yeah, she was cleansing her soul is what she was doing. That's a wrap at 619 Spirits in North Park. Uh, big shout out to all the comics on the show. It's a fun crowd. I got to go up at the end and rock out for like 35. Just cool people, man. Shout out to Tony, who I met, who's Dominican. Cool dude. And uh, big shout outs to Taz, I believe was her name. She uh, saw me at Pally Wine before, follows the vlog. So thanks to you, Taz. I appreciate y'all. So yeah, just it's been pretty cool to see that like last couple weeks I've bumped into people who follow the vlog and seen me in San Diego. So I want to say, man, I appreciate y'all, man. And y'all believing in me is super cool and honestly really humbling. So let's make it, dude. I really hope this thing works out for me. And uh, these baby steps are important. And anybody who watches these vlogs or supports me on social, you're really helping me out. So to the top with it, let's do that. I shouldn't be scared of no Mexicans, but we're built different. Like, we're not all the same. Like, Mexicans do a lot with the spices. My stomach's not built like that. I don't like that shit. Mexicans put spices on every, I'm like, bro, you gotta relax. They're like, it's seasoning. I'm like, my ass is on fire. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta chill the fuck out. Like, everything got spice. Everything, the fruit, cut it up, spice. Why? Just let me eat this fucking fruit. Why do I gotta? They pull up a bag of candy. They're like, it's Mexican candy. I'm like, that's just in a Ziploc. Like, where did you? Are you selling drugs? Do you sell drugs now? It's like, that looks like candy, I know. What did you dip that in? Is that fentanyl? What's on that, bro? What the fuck are we doing? I shouldn't be scared of no Mexicans, but I was, bro. And I, I love me real, child. I don't know if we got any Mexicans in the house tonight. Any Mexicans here? We do? All right, look, I mean, like, that's what's up. I'm like, look, you just wooing for everything now? What are you, what are you? Spanish, Spanish? She's like, yes, the kind that we show up and take. We, it's ours. It's ours. You've heard of conquistadores, that's, it's me. The one they don't want to claim us because, you know, I don't know, raping, pillaging, and whatever else we did back in the day, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, you Mexican though? Hey, good to see you. When we wrote you, you've been quiet, okay? But between me, you, and the Spaniard over here, I got a lot of confidence that we can turn this room into whatever we want. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah, it's a comedy show now, but maybe in the parking lot, it's a quinceanera now. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe, puede si, maybe, si se puede, maybe, I don't know, you know what I mean? That's what he said, I mean, it can happen, you know? But, I'm sorry, I was kidding. Me and you, we're about to do the whole rest of the set in Spanish. You wanna do it? Let's go. Let's just do it just for you and the Spaniard girl. We're gonna test if she really speaks Spanish. We're gonna find out. She did her ancestry DNA at one time, and she's like, I saw it, it says Spain, right here! And then her friends are like, Maddie, but fuck, look at Ireland, there's a lot of it, like, look! <laughs> like, her great-great-great-grandfather was just freaky, he went to go fuck a Spanish bitch one time. <laughs> She's like, look, point five! That's a lot! They put me in jail when I blew that on the fucking number. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, blood alcohol level joke, let's fucking go!